Hi, uh, I'm Bhutika. I'm from Kingston University, and I'm here with me, brother, my friend. Uh, we're working on a control system with embedded implementation assignment, uh, model called ME7731. Our uh, task is a free scale, free scale microcontroller programming group assignment. Our project is to build a, a microprocessor control of a traffic light system. The task is to develop a software for the control of a traffic light system at street junction with pedestrian crossing, as you can see in this picture. Uh, the software is to be 400 megahertz. It's used to a microcontroller. Make also use a provided board with a set of push buttons and LED simulator we can see on your right hand side. The following requirements regarding the timing cycle for the traffic light will be considered. Uh, pedestrian should get a green light only if all traffic lights are red. The pedestrian green light should blink before going to red. And uh, cars coming out of the side road, which is this one, side road should get a green light only if both main roads are red. Uh, the coils buried uh, side of the next to the uh, traffic light of the side road. Uh, candidate with one or more car one uh, waiting in front of the traffic light uh, a pot used for in this traffic light is a potential meter um, uh, to emulate this function of the coil a value higher than uh, zero x zero simulate that a car is waiting a second pot is to determine the time the traffic light should stay green now in our project we take as that parameter into the side road which is a uh, uh, depend on the second parameter, uh, second parameter of POT meters values, it will determine uh, how long the green light is going to give in the side road. So, here is my friend Vada, he will going to explain, go through the process of the whole program. Thank you. Hello, uh, my name is Vada. I'm going to talk about the uh, system and centralization. Uh, first, uh, let me demonstrate our work on the board. We are using a free scale board. Um, uh, as you can see, from we try to copy it to the real. Uh, anyway, uh, we have this is a side road and we have this uh, six uh, leads for the main road and we have this two leads for the pedestrian. Uh, we have this here the potential meter number one for the side road coils, which uh, demonstrate how many number number of cars on the side road, and we have the potential meter two, which controls the time scale for the green light for the side road, and we have the two push button. Sorry, it was an error. Two push button for the pedestrian. Of uh, certainly it's one here and one here. Um, now, uh, sorry. Uh, the connection of uh, the board um, to the process. We have uh, two push buttons. They are both connected to the same pin because both of them do the same job, and doesn't matter if one is pushed before the second, the other. So. Basically, they do the same job to save uh, pins and to make it easier on the, uh, easier to code or save, fa make the code faster. That's fine. We have uh, potentiometer uh, one uh, connected to channel analog uh, to digital channel one, uh, five, which represents uh, side road coils, and potentiometer two the time scale. Connect to the analog to analog to channel, channel, channel zero. Um, to the, about the LEDs, uh, we have uh, two grid for the main road, two green, two yellow. Uh, the same as we, uh, push button one, push button two. They are both this. Uh, these two are connected to the same pin, and these two connect to the same pin, and so on. Uh, we have side road. Uh, basically, all all the all the LEDs are connected to port, port uh, B from, as you can see, port, port B0 to port B7. Uh, that's it. As a system structure, uh, mainly uh, our code is uh, divided into two parts, initialization part and the main program part. Initialization or setup, uh, first to initialize the uh, AD to T analog digital converter then initialize the delay function we have two delay function 
uh, later I'm going to explain about that. Uh, then we set up the ports as input or output events. For example, as I said, as I said port B all output because uh, all outlet connected uh, to the port B. Uh, and also we have a buzzer uh, as an output. Uh, then after that we put uh, initialize the default state uh, for traffic light as you can see now. Main road green, side road red, and between this tree and red. After that, uh, we go to the main application where the infinite loop start. Uh, uh, infinite loop has three stages, three main stages. It keeps going till the, we stop the program. Uh, first, it can check the inputs, which are the potentiometer one, potentiometer two, and the two push buttons. It uh, read them and see them, save them inside the memory, and then it can check. Uh, push button if they are sweet, uh, pressed or not. If they are not pressed, gonna jump to this uh, uh, stage. If they are uh, pressed, it's gonna go through uh, a, a sequence. I'm gonna show you later. After after this finish, it also gonna check the potentiometer. If it's on, uh, if it's like if there are car, uh, it gonna go also through another sequence. Basically, the there is one idea I should know. Uh, we try after either of this uh, push button or time scale uh, potentiometer two, if uh, either of them is on. After that, the main road goes uh, goes on again because uh, this is the main road, the most important. So, for example, it's the potentiometer all the time on after a set a set of time maximum six seconds. Automatically, it goes goes off, and this one, the main road, goes on again. And after that, uh, uh, the pedestrian, if if one of the either of the push button is on uh, pushed, it will, it will go go on. And again, after that, uh, it's gonna go to the main road and then go to the pedestrian. Depend if the pedestrian is on on the time scale. Uh, I'm going to now uh, run it and show you what's going on. Uh, uh, Alright, uh, here, let me start. Sorry, alright, here's the main state. Uh, First, for example, um, we have the uh, pedestrian. So the sequence of this light is taken according to the um, UK system. Uh, according to the UK traffic light system. Uh, sorry. There it is. Uh, for example, now I'm showing showing each one uh, dependent. Uh, the yellow is not on just uh, reflection. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. For example, let's put the time scale to the minimum. Uh, it, the green gonna uh, stay for only like two seconds, and then go back to the uh, main road. As I said earlier, the main road has a priority. Then go back. No. Uh, all right. Uh, now, for example, while uh, there are some traffic light. There are, there's the side road still on. The, there are some stuff, but someone pushed on the pedestrian. So the buzzer indicates uh, and the flashing indicates the end of the pedestrian uh, period. Mm. 
uh, okay uh, about the, the code uh, if you want to see uh, the code sorry okay uh, I don't think it's so obvious uh, here's the internet loop uh, the main thing is in each delay or what we what we have done each delay is like uh, we call the function delay which is gonna check while it's uh, doing the delay, it's gonna keep checking on the pedestrian push button. So basically, we didn't really use an interrupt. We just like while it's doing the delay, keep checking uh, if the pedestrian is on. And when it's uh, when someone pushes the pedestrian, a uh, certain value is gonna uh, be like gonna save as zero, and then later we can do the job. Uh, basically, that's it. Thank you very much. Uh,